Hi, today I'd like to show you how I made a summery top from a fabric I've had for years as well as chit chat about comfort sewing and more specifically why sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is have a go at sewing something even when you don't feel like it especially when you don't feel like it this week on my sewing schedule I had the plumeria top I was very excited to make it but it turns out life doesn't respect sewing schedules so it threw a lot at me to be more specific this week we got a letter from my landlord to say that in July we'll have to pack our belongings and move somewhere else we moved in this little house less than a year ago and in many ways it feels like we have just unpacked I love this place it feels like we've settled so to have to find a new place and pack on top of everything else life's thrown at me this year, well, it has felt like a lot for my heart. So <laughs> I cried lots and everything in me wanted to ignore my sewing plans for this week and let myself turn into a depressed little couch potato. But I knew better than to do that. Over the years, I have learned that my initial reaction to difficulties is to let my feelings take the lead and miss any momentum I had going. Miss any routines, any connections, any plans, any progress. It might sound controversial, but I have learned to not always let my feelings have the final say. I've learned to go for a walk when I don't feel like it to eat well when I don't feel like it, to text people back when I don't feel like it, to love when I don't feel like it, to pray when I don't feel like it, and to sew when I don't feel like it. So that's what I did this week. I picked up fabric I've had for absolute ages and my rusty little sewing machine. I picked up the pattern and I told myself to just try and take your mind off Alexandra and sew something and stop worrying about where you're gonna live <laughs> um, and it worked like a charm I very quickly got so caught up in darts and threads and tiny clips that for those moments when I was sewing and filming it was just me and this lovely hobby no drama. I don't know if it was the cute fabric or the fact that I was actually progressing and taking another item off my sewing list, but I was definitely feeling lighter and more grounded and silly. <laughs> This experience of sewing when sad, sewing when worried, sewing when I don't feel like it, got me thinking two things. The first thing <laughs> I thought came to me in the shower <laughs> and is this, we are born to create. And whilst the act of creating has so many layers of meaning to it, Maybe one layer is that creating is a way to fight our battles. Maybe we've been gifted the act of creating as a way to push back darkness, a way to find light, a way to stay grounded when life feels like a storm, a way to be strong when everything seems to go wrong. It's always really tempting to not press your seams and just kind of move on because you're making progress. But I've learned that if you just stop to press your seams, it makes such a difference and everything just like aligns nicely and it just looks nice. So always press your seams. Also, 
I've never made a peplum top before and I've never known how just easy it is and honestly the construction and the pattern and the fabric work so well together I've had this fabric for two years about and I've never used it <laughs> and with my new philosophy of just have a go I felt like, you know what, let's just take this cute fabric and turn it into a top that I could put on with a jean and go out on a tight. And honestly, so far, so good, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. After finishing the sleeve, I went to kind of clip the seam allowance so I can zigzag stitch the raw edges. And unfortunately, I clipped my sleeve. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see the little patch. So I uh, clipped it here and I got so upset. I was like, no, but then I was like, relax. It's fine, it's just a mistake. So what I did is I cut up a piece of fabric <laughs> Oh, the sun's come out. I cut up a bit of some fabric and then I super glued it on the uh, clip. And honestly, you can't even see it. I promise you, you can't even see it. So perspective is everything. When you're so zoomed in, in the situation, you're like, ah, this is the worst thing ever. But if you zoom out, you're like, you know what? This is just the clip. Nobody's gonna be staring into my armpit. It's okay. Anyways, I wanted to kind of put my little mistake out there to just let you know, we all make mistakes. No one's perfect. Must continue with my project. I think I am like sewing delirious. This is a look. This is a look. This is like Romanian, Romanian. Romanian grandma look, <laughs> which is what I'll be in just a few years, a Romanian grandma. The second thought I had about this experience of sewing when sad came to me again in the shower. <laughs> As you can tell, I do my best thinking in the shower and my best singing if I may say so myself. Anyways, I digress. Here's the thought that I had about sewing when sad. To be honest, it was more of a question and it was, why is it that I run away from nice things when I feel sad? There's a verse that I grew up with that says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. So. Here's my conclusion. Sadness is a thief, which will come to steal, kill and destroy. Sadness knows that we find so much joy within the little things like walks, sewing, chats with people. So the first thing sadness tries to do is steal any desire for that. If you take anything from this video, take this. Do the things that are good for your soul, even when you don't feel like doing them. Especially when you don't feel like doing them. Let sewing and walks and showers and good friends and good food become your way of fighting back. I've been playing around my hair. I think I really like the top, I'm not gonna lie. I think it took me some time to get used to it. Maybe next time I'll make like a size smaller because I feel like there's plenty of room. 
but what a cute little summer fit summer fit and it like reminds me of like the French kind of vibes that I'm after and it feels so nice to have chosen a style and like make things for myself for that style thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>